You don't always need a trophy to stand out in the crowd. Class president, football star, class favorite, and undefeated chess champion. Yeah, Chris wasn't any of those things. Nope. But his two friends Diana and Alex were both very talented. Diana was at the top of her math class and took pictures for the class yearbook. And Alex was good at running. Well, at least he thought he was. Yeah, there he goes. And again. We get it. Moving on. It didn't bother Chris that he wasn't in any clubs, because he'd started a club of his own for kids who believed in Jesus. Chris, Diana, and Alex were the only members so far, but that was plenty. He didn't exactly win an award for starting that club, but that was okay. Chris tried not to focus on winning things, and just tried to live his life the way that Jesus would want him to live. Alex still asked Chris from time to time why he hadn't won any awards. Alex had once won a trophy for eating the most hot dogs in five minutes. They make trophies for that? Yes. It was the end of the school year, and there were a lot of competitions going on. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to try to win just one award before the school year was over. At least then Alex couldn't tease him anymore. Two words. Bake sale. Not many people knew that Chris was such a good cook, so winning the bake sale contest would be a breeze. He just had to sell more cupcakes than the other kids. But as the day went on, he found a lot of people with no money who still needed a cupcake. Like Franny, who was crying because she lost her doll, or Remy, who didn't have anyone to play with. Chris enjoyed giving the cupcakes to people. He wasn't worried about the contest. He could win an award some other way. Scavenger Hunt All Chris had to do was find a few things on the list before the other kids did. Dog food, that's easy. But while Chris was in the pet store, Miss Orange asked him to carry a few heavy bags for her. Chris knew that he should help her, so he did. He spent a lot of time helping Miss Orange and lost the scavenger hunt. But that was okay. He could win an award some other way. Math Contest Chris was good at math, but that was the award that Diana always won. Hmm. He didn't want to try to take that from her, and she would probably win anyway. No, no. He could win an award some other way. School race. Chris was a great runner. He could do this. The race was on. He was in the lead and doing a fine job. It looked like Alex would be getting second place. He was running so hard his face was turning red. Mm. It looked like Alex really, really wanted to win the race. Chris slowed down just a little bit so Alex could win. That was okay. Chris could get an award some other way. But the last day of school came, and Chris hadn't won anything as usual. But as he looked around him, he realized that you don't always need a trophy to stand out in the crowd. We don't always see the life that God saves. Do you know where this is? Of course you don't. This is the creepy culvert that sits right between Alex's house and the animal shelter. It's also where Zombie Cat lives. Yes, somewhere in this culvert lies Zombie Cat. Do you see him? How about now? Did you see him then? Maybe that time? What about then? Of course, Zombie Cat doesn't actually appear and disappear like that. What Zombie Cat does is more like... Yee! Yeah, that's what he does. Alex was scared of Zombie Cat. Alex was also scared of carrots. He hated carrots. Especially carrots that looked like Zombie Cat. But luckily, that only happened in his dreams. Most of the time. So why was Alex walking through the creepy culvert? And why is he wearing a costume? Well, you see, every week, Alex got four dollars for his allowance and he liked to give two of those dollars to the animal shelter on the other side of the culvert. And for a mission like that, Alex had to become more than a kid. He had to become the Humane Kid, otherwise known as Spand Alex. Alex loved animals, except Zombie Cat. And feeding them was very important to him. And there was always one puppy in particular that Alex always cared for, a little white puppy named Cookie. Alex would buy puppy food for him, say hi to the kitties, and be on his way. And even though Alex was scared of Zombie Cat, he would always leave a can of kitty food on the ground for him. 
Then run away like a speeding train. Did Zombie Cat ever eat the food? Alex never knew. He was usually too busy running and screaming to notice. So this made his weekly trip to the animal shelter a frightening event. But he did it anyway, because he felt it was something that God wanted him to do. So every week, Alex made the trip through the culvert to the animal shelter and back again. Each week he would run, feed his puppy, say hi to the kitties, leave food for Zombie Cat, then dash home. And he always felt like he was being chased, but he wasn't. Most of the time. Making this journey was Alex's special project. He was feeding animals that needed his help, and that made him happy. So, another week, another trip to the animal shelter. But one day, Alex noticed that his favorite puppy was missing. Miss Orange, who worked at the animal shelter, told him that his puppy had gotten sick and had died during the night. Alex was heartbroken, and he was confused, too. He thought it was his job to save the puppy, and now the puppy was gone. It was a long and lonely walk home. Alex was very upset, but he still left some food for Zombie Cat on his way through the culvert. He put the small dish of cat food on the ground, then ran for his life. But this time, Alex stopped on the way home and cried. Why did his favorite puppy have to die? But we don't always see the life that God saves. You see, Zombie Cat was actually a mommy cat with two baby kitties. Alex hadn't saved one life, he'd saved three. <laughs>